not only are we navigating through all this thick snow, but we're trying to dodge rocks coming down. Holy f it's probably one of the hardest hikes I've ever done. Uh, ben just cut his hand, you right? That's it's really bad. Okay, we need to go back a little bit. Unfortunately, this journey didn't start at the top of a mountain. But luckily for us, it did start here at the Hermitage Hotel. We had just spent the last couple of days here exploring the surrounding mountain ranges and glaciers, but we were left craving a bit more of an adventure. So with our final day in Mount Cook National Park, we decided to do something a bit more extreme. So the hike we're about to do is called Mueller Hut, which is a free hut where you can stay in overnight. The hike is 1,600 meters up and we are carrying a massive backpack uh, full of our camera gear, full of warm enough clothes so we don't freeze to death because the temperatures get minus 15 overnight. And on top of that, we need enough food for the night and then we have put crampons, attach them to our bags, some hiking poles, a sleeping bag. So we've got this pack that is just ridiculously heavy and we're hiking it up the mountain. So we packed our bags full of food and warm clothes so we could survive one night staying up in the snow. How much have you your bag weighs right now, Cam? Like 20, 20 kilo? Yeah. 20. Five hour hike with 20 kilo bags. This is pretty much just training to become shippers. One day we're going to be uh, yeah. helping out the clients. Yeah. The next step was to check out what the conditions on the hike would be like. So, double weather check. Yeah. It all looks good. Okay. Okay. Yeah. But if you are coming down and you have any issues with visibility in being confident where you're going, maybe delay it. I'll yeah. see you tomorrow. Awesome. Thank you so much. And finally, we headed up the road to hire some hiking gear. Uh, we got the ice picks, we got the crampons, we got the cameras, we got the shoes that we're not wearing anymore. We're ready to go. All right, we are <laughs> packed, we are ready, we've had so many snacks, and now we're going to begin the hike. The yeah, avalanche is going on. Literally, we've heard too, like, as we've been getting ready, the snow's just fallen from the cliff up there. It's actually quite epic. Please subscribe to Jamie TK. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, he's a legend we met the other day. He was asking us what we're filming if we had YouTube and we gave him our stuff. Then he went home and watched it and we bumped him to him. That's the third time. First time was the Hooker Valley Trail, then in our hotel, and then randomly at this hike. Oh, that's fun. That's a bit of fun. about an hour in. I'm gonna be honest with you, this is an absolutely killer hike. The thing what makes it most difficult is the 20 kilogram backpacks. It's actually one of the most breathtaking hikes I've ever been on. I'm a bit worried because the sun's starting to dip and we're nowhere near where we need to be. So we're putting our stuff down for a bit, absolutely smashing out the next part and then stop at a cool spot and get some cool shots there. All right, so we are now halfway up the mountain. Um, we had to stop to put our crampons on, which are these things. They're to stop us slipping off the mountain. <laughs> so we're just gonna quickly put our crampons on and then rush up as far as we can get so we hopefully we get some of that evening, evening light coming through. Smashing it, we can't keep up. Here's a little tip and trick when you're hiking. Don't go with athletes, leave them at home. They ask you and they're like, hey, we really want to come. You say, oh, no, nah, I can't, I'm busy. You're on the hike anyway. 
Don't worry about posting anything on Instagram. Don't worry if you hurt the feelings. They're hurting my feelings right now. I'm showing how much fitter they are than me. All right, we're about two and a half hours in and shit's getting serious right now. There is a bunch of snow. It looks super cool. We're walking through it. It's really soft, powdery stuff. And we've really got to put in max effort right now. It is slippery. There is rocks, there is plants, there is everything in our way. But you know what? You know what? We ain't stopping. We're determined, more determined than ever. I have clearly lost it halfway up this mountain. And I'm gonna be honest with you, my feet are very, very sore right now. These boots that we have are like super stiff. And God, there's like no room for movement. I can feel my feet just cramping up. Probably about 1,000 meters up now. And this is the part where we had to be super careful because the snow is getting really soft. There's a lot of it and it could mean avalanches. So we just gotta keep our eyes out, be really careful. And the weather lately has been looking quite good though, so we should be okay. It's getting scary, man. Oh, Jesus Christ. Right. We just got bits of rocks falling down and because we're on such an angle, they're just absolutely shooting towards us. Not only are we navigating through all this thick snow, but we're trying to dodge rocks coming down. Holy f Well, this is an experience. Yeah, yeah, party on the top of the hill. We got some uns, uns. We got some drinks to flow. Let's go. This is sketchy as fuck. You good? That is what we've hiked up here for, to stay in that hut overnight. Oh, this has not been an easy one. It's probably one of the hardest hikes I've ever done. Terrain, the snow. My first actual snow hike up a mountain, which is an incredible experience. Absolutely amazing. It is getting seriously cold now, the sun's dipped. My hands are freezing. I'm super excited we're so close so we can get in there and put some warm layers on. This is a bucket list thing. This is a bucket this list is thing. definitely something to take off. Alpine hike in the snow in winter in New Zealand. With some of your best buds Alpine. in the world. <laughs> it is incredible. So with the end in sight and moments before reaching the hut, Ben decided it would be a good time to hurt himself. Ben just cut his hand, you're right. It's fucked. It's really fucked. Ah! Oh, I tried to catch the drone and I slipped just as I caught it and the oh, propellers no. caught me and then the drone kind of stacked. Oh. Gosh, mate. Oh, Gash City with a Mavic 2 Pro blade. Oh, I've got this nifty first here and actually bought a first aid kit. Yeah, I know, right? Shut up, Jamie. With Ben all bandaged up, we unpacked our bags and prepared for a super cold night.
water supply froze. <laughs> the tap that turns it on, the, nothing comes out. So you have to open the top and smash some ice to get the water that's in the middle that's not frozen. Oh, was that the one? Was that the pour? Hey. Cam, how was that one? That pour was 10 out of 10. That was 11 out of 11. Ooh. Ooh. This is how filmmakers make coffee in the morning. It takes about 20 minutes to make a coffee. Oh, there's a massive avalanche over there, guys. Oh, shit. Holy shit. Yeah. Holy shit. Whoa. That's huge. Guys, this is the third time shooting this because I'm an idiot and I had the camera in slow-mo. <laughs> God damn it. You can blame it on last night's sleep. I'm gonna blame it on last night's sleep. Uh, I'm gonna be honest with you all. It was super, super, super hard to sleep last night. Morning, bro. You sleep right? Oh, yeah. absolute garbage. It is, um... It's pretty hard to sleep up here, eh? So hard. I mean, my face just kept freezing. And I had to put it under the sleeping bag. And then it'd fall asleep and it'd come back out and then it'd freeze again. <laughs> and I'd put it back under, but... Eh, it is what it is. Got a few oh, eyes at least, I think. And there's no pillows. Yeah, you're like, Nick, just get My neck was like... Slammed, eh? Like cracking like this. I was like, oh my god. It felt like it froze. Like the muscles froze. Yeah, that was alright. Hey. At about midnight, and it's like 7.30 now, so I got a few hours sleep. Um, yeah, it was a chilly one. No matter how many people were in the room, the body heat, and no matter what you were in, it's not really that, that warm. It's probably like minus 10 last night. I reckon I got to two to three hours, um, because the conditions inside the hut, inside of Mule Hut, are exactly the same as outside, which as you can tell, it's freaking freezing. So, the cool thing about this hut is it's kind of come and go first in, first, in, what is it? First in, first serve. First in, first serve. So what that means, it's free accommodation. You come in, they've got kind of a bunk bed kind of layout and you just, yeah, jump on, pick a spot. The only problem is it doesn't have any heating. So it is absolutely freezing. And although I have, I have seven layers on right now, two puffer jackets, a jumper and four thermals, I was still freezing last night. Other than that, absolute sick time. We are having the best time ever. Last night was awesome because it's dead silent outside. And the coolest thing about this location is there's literally no light. So when you go out, you walk straight out the heart, you look up, you can see the whole Milky Way. So I think um, me, Cam and Ben spent about three or four hours just shooting pictures of the stars. Yeah, fun facts, Cam. What's up guys? Fact number one, boom. A thousand meters vertical game we did yesterday on the walk. That's pretty hectic. Yeah. Fact number two, just behind us here, is the uh, Mueller Glacier. Been there for thousands of years, and we heard it crumbling last night, smashing down the hillside, which is pretty oh, scary. Yeah, while we're taking photos of the stars, it's dead silent, right? So literally out of nowhere, you just hear this massive rumbling as avalanches happen just behind us. Unreal. Fun fact number three. Boom. This guy, Jamie, absolute legend. Honestly, oh. <laughs> this guy is such a dude. Oh! Yeah! <laughs> yeah! I didn't mean to aim for your face, but I got it. Snowball fight? Nah, it's alright. I, I was holding on to the end on the side. I was just like, I'm waiting for this, I'm waiting for this. I aimed for your shoulder, but I got your face. I somewhat feel like I deserve that. So shout That'd out to the cool Melbourne boys that we met up here that we stayed the night with. How was it? Hey, pretty chilly. I've been uh, up here twice now. Probably my favourite place ever. This is the best place I've been out of all the places I've been. That's awesome. Oh, Honestly, I love to hear that. Yeah, yeah these, pretty hard to these guys took us up. <laughs> All right, so now's the descent. We're heading back down. Man, it, takes, it took us ages to leave, so we're, we're in a bit of a rush down, unfortunately. But we're still gonna try and get some cool drone shots of us hiking and stuff, so. Let's check out Ben's outfit for the day. Looking good, Ben. Business. Stand up, give us a spin. You've gotta be looking, looking like a James Bond. You do. Hero. You got a parachute, me? It is a parachute. Disguised as a sleeping bag. <laughs> yeah. Jump right down the mountain. Later. Bags come loose. Yeah. Brothers helping brothers, I like it. Brothers helping brothers. Woo! Yeah. Yeah. Oh, we've made it down. 
that was challenging. One of the most challenging hikes I've done. And yep. what about you guys? Walk in the park? Yeah, cruising up probably like cruising. 500 bucks. I asked Jamie before, <laughs> would he do it again for a million dollars right now if he had to walk all the way to the top end? I said nah. <laughs> Screw that. <laughs> yeah. I'd rather go eat a burger. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, that concludes this vlog. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed watching us hike up and joining us on that journey. Um, massive shout out to Lana and Cam. If you don't already, give them a follow on Instagram. They take some awesome <laughs> videos, awesome photos of and running. they run faster than planes. And they <laughs> <laughs> Yep, and they are ridiculous at running. So check them out, and as always, like and subscribe. <laughs> Jamie TK. Jamie TK. Uh, also, comment below if you want Jamie to become a full-time Sherpa. <laughs> yeah. He's thinking of moving to Everest full-time. Get a job over there. His family's trying to talk him out of it, but I'll, I said, go for it, bro. You'll yeah. be fine. You've done me all a hat. You can do anything. Yeah. <laughs> no, don't do it. Don't do it, bro. Don't do it. <laughs> all right, and uh, off to Lake Tekapo. Woo! See you guys. Yeah. You ready, bro? How was your sleep, man? Oh, man. My sleep? My sleep? My sleep is terrible. But you know, I feel amazing. You know why? Look where I am. That's yeah. why. Yeah, exactly. That's why. I... By the way, Jamie is Australian. He's got a thousand accents and he's good at all of them. I'm Australian. Give us a doof doof, a morning doof doof. The morning doof doof? Yeah. What the? On, on stiff toes? Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> that was painful. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>